What's up, guys? Open us hits with Scotty Two Hockey here with a, something a bit different today. I got some random Upper Deck Series retail packs at the gas station by my house. They were only like $4 each. Hopefully, we'll get a Kale McCarry Young Guns or something cool. Dominic Kubelik would be nice as well. And I got some of these Dollarama packs. Three of them where you can get memorabilia cards and autograph cards out of them. Some supplies. We should get some good rookies, some good 90s cards, some good retro stuff. So let's get into it. A fun little break. It's been a while since I've done a break on the channel. It's been like a week, so let's do it. It's been a lot of hockey videos with the whole free agency stuff. We'll get into the Upper Deck Series first. And just so I don't have to dick around with the retail packs, because I don't know why, but the retail packs, to me, seem so much harder to open than the hobby packs. Okay. Very first pack. I don't know what we have here. One of the cards is backwards. Weird. So we got J... Oh, let's get the focus. James Reimer, who I don't believe is a, I believe he got traded, he's, or he signed somewhere else, he's no longer a member of Carolina, Carl Hagland, one of the fastest players in the league, Mikel Grabner, Vladimir Tarasenko, and, oh, Will Butcher, Trevor Lewis, oh, uh, this must be a base pack, Sam Gagne, Antti Ranta, and Trevor Lewis, that's the worst thing about retail, you can get base packs, oh, that one opened like a gem, Oh my god, these are the weirdest freaking retail packs I've ever seen. Half of them are half one way. So we do got an insert. We'll see what it is now. Uh, Artemi Panarin, Joe Pavelski, Milan Lucic, Adrian Kempe, Andre Burakovsky, Jason Spezza, Patrick Kane, and a canvas of the Stanley Cup winner this year, Braden Point. Awesome player right there. So out of our UD series, we didn't do very good. Just a canvas. Not not, not a big deal. Not the end of the world. It's only $8. So here's our first dollar on a bag. We have a mini snap case holder. I really like these for like uh, like $50, $60 cards. Uh, well, cards you don't really need a one touch for, but you want to protect them well. These look these are awesome. And they look really nice in a display. They look so much nicer than a top loader. And if, I don't know if you guys noticed it. I picked this up today at Dollarama as well. It's like a little hockey puck that has a slit in it. And you can put, like, your cards in there. I had to jam the, the Harder Heart Young Gun in there. I couldn't properly get that top loader to fit in there for some reason. But, yeah, it's really cool. I'm going to have to make this a little bit bigger with a knife myself later. So, let's just open up all these dollar on the bags and see what we got. And then we'll go through the packs. Ooh, we got a pack of something in here. So, we got, let's get the focus, six official trading cards, a goalie pack. I love the goalie packs because I PC goalies. A rookie pack, awesome, so we're getting a rookie for sure, and a Heroes and Prospects Arena version. Come on, memorabilia card. Three, two, baby. We got another Heroes and Prospects Arena version. A, the 90s pack. Thousand point club, four cards. Uh, one guaranteed thousand point scorer in the pack. And 70s and 80s, so let's get into these. Dude, Heroes and Prospects first, arena version. Hobby version of this is okay. Arena version sucks. Arena version, you're not going to get anything worth anything. But it, it, you are going to get some good names. Like, you're, if you're just wanting for your binder, you're going to get some really good names. Uh, Lou Bourdon. Mark Stahl. What year is this again? 2006-2007 arena version. Very good year. Jonathan Bernier. Ooh, what's this? I've never, ever seen one of these. Uh... Eric Wenstrom, Shooting Stars, AHL All-Star Classic. That's the first time I've ever seen one of those in a pack of Heroes and Prospects. Wow, obviously probably not worth anything, but still, cool little insert. I'm going to add that to the side. It's definitely considered an insert. And then we have Derek Broussard. Like I said, good names, just usually not good cards. I don't think you can get autos or anything out of these. I'm almost positive you can't. Maybe you can get jersey cards out of them. I know the hobby you can for sure. Uh... Sidney Crosby, CHL grad card. Wow, that's actually a really cool card. That's going in my binder. When he played for Ramuski. that is a really cool card. Awesome. Um, then we got Hamilton Bulldog, Mark andre Poulat, another one for the binder. A hero of Dick Duff. <laughs> uh, John Armstrong and Brandon Sutter. So I got I to gotta arrange these because a couple of these I actually want to keep. Sorry, Dick Duff. I'm not. I don't really know you that well. Uh, we got. I'm gonna keep that one. I'm gonna keep the Crosby, and I'm definitely gonna keep this one because I've never even seen one of those in a pack of those before. And we got the uh, UD canvas. I hit before that, so we do got a couple of inserts out of this break so far. So it's not a complete loss yet. 
Rookie pack. One guaranteed rookie in this pack. Sometimes you'll get two. Um, pull the young guns out of this. Maybe one out of like the 200 I've opened. Uh, actually, two. Twice I pulled the young guns out of these rookie packs. Um, we got Corey Schneider. Bob Carpenter. Reggie Savage, top prospect. So I, I don't know if that's a rookie. I don't think that would be a rookie. It's usually the last one. So Reggie Savage, top prospect. And we got dual rookies of Evgeny Nabokov, who was at one time a pretty decent goalie for San Jose, Omega 2000, and Brad Stewart. I don't know a lot about Brad Stewart. I've heard him before, but I don't know a lot about the guy. Nabokov, I know a bit more. So now we're going into the goalie pack. Ooh, okay. Very first card, we have Patrick Laleem, Upper Deck Vintage. I've never actually seen these cards before. It's the first time I've ever seen Upper Deck Vintage from the year 2000. Patrick Laleem. Then we have Champs, one of Zeri Gaming's favorites. He loves talking about Champs. Uh, Ron Hextall, I'm actually going to keep that. In, I'm actually going to keep that for my binder. Uh, Mike Luet. He was a he was the man in his day. Definitely keeping that one for the monitor. And a pinnacle, Corey Schwab. Is this a rookie? This looks like it would be a rookie. Yeah, really cool pinnacle card there. Corey Schwab. I loved pinnacle when I was a kid. Pinnacle was like my favorite thing to open. And there was always lots of autos in the uh, old pinnacle. The boxes for pinnacle were really cool too. They're really different than what Upper Deck does these days. We have Shane Gostaspear, who's probably going to get traded soon. If there's been trade rumors about that guy for years, he was a healthy scratch this year, he's probably going to get traded. Then we have Brandon Convery, top prospect. St. John's Maple Leafs represent, that's where I'm to right now, in St. John's, Newfoundland. Awesome, didn't even notice that. That's at a St. John's Maple Leafs game. Wicked, love it, love it. What is this? SP Authentic, Tampa Bay Lightning, who is that, Bill, Ran oh, Bill Ranford, SP Authentic, Tampa Bay Lightning, Bill Ranford, that's base of SP Authentic back in the day, wow, there's some old SP Authentic base from, a, I don't even know, when, 07, 08, I think, cool. Then we have Nathan. Oh, we're going to get into our six official trading cards now. We got uh, Nathan McKinnon, SP Authentic Base. I got to separate this stuff. Joe Mullen and a Nordiques Stefan Fizet card. So all those are definitely going to my bonder. I love those goalie cards. I was PC goalies. I don't care what anybody says. The most important position in hockey is goalie. You can lose a center. You can lose a big center, maybe even two, and still be able to compete. You can lose a defenseman or two off your blue line and still be able to somewhat compete with other teams. But if you lose a goalie, you have nobody in your net, and the other team has a goalie in their net, you are not winning the game. So the goalie is the most important position in hockey. Look at this. Really nice base right there. That is beautiful base. Panini Select. Uh, Gabriel Landeskog looks a lot like Allure. Beautiful, beautiful. That is one of the nicest base cards you're ever going to see. Beautiful. And the way it's like, oh, that's so nice. I'm keeping that for the inserts. Uh, Flyers, Tony Horacek. OPG Premier, 92. Pat Jablowski. And whoa, select certified Alexi Kovalev. New York Rangers certified collection. And it has some kind of film on it. It says removable film so maybe this is one of those weird misprint ones that they have with the protection thing on it you actually can't get this film off it unless you have like a machine for doing it wow that is a cool card though that's amazing wow is that a rookie 95 96 you guys can let me know in the comments if it is the way it's like cut out right there it makes it look like the ice is shining that is a cool card and i don't believe this film's coming off no wow i love that card that's why I love the Dollarama breaks. You're, you're probably not going to get anything that's worth like hundreds of dollars or something crazy. But you can get some real nostalgic, some real nice stuff for your PC if you're, if you're a collector like me. Marty McKinnis, Greg Mullen, Sean Burke. I cannot stress enough how much I can't stand top stadium clubs. 
ProSet and this are the worst, but ProSet at least has some cool looking inserts. Not a fan of Top Stadium Club, never will be. Uh, Bruins, uh, Bob Bears, and Bob Wilkie Defense, American Hockey League. Oh, we got another one here behind it. Alexander Shapirov, World Junior Tournament, prospect card. He played for Russia there. He got the Russia jersey on. So, how many packs we got left? We got four left, I believe. So, now we're into the 70s and 80s. Three 70s and 80s cards. So, up first we have the Red Wings card. It's just the Red Wings is what it says on it. Then we have from the Nordiques, Randy Muller, OPG, way back when, uh, 1983 OPG, and Paul Coffey. 90s pack coming up. These 90s packs are pretty cool because you can get really good Flare Ultra rookies out of them. Not worth a ton of money once again, but... I've loved the old Flair Ultra Rookies. I recently got Keith Kachuk. That was awesome. Oh, look at that goldie card. David Poopa. It says Lightning right there. Awesome. That's going to... I'm going to put that off to the side, I guess. Um, we have... These are so hard to read the names off. Carey. I have no idea who that is. Jim Carey. So we got a famous comedian right here, guys. Jim Carey. There he is right there. Nelson Emerson, St. Louis Blues. Prospect card. Paul Broughton, Louis DeBrusque, ooh, Jake DeBrusque's dad, Mark Bergevin, whoa, look at Bergey with the Lightning, I knew he played with St. Louis for years, I did not remember he played with the Lightning, wow, that's going into PC, until he gets fired and then I can throw it in the garbage, <laughs> hopefully not, hopefully not, Bergey's made some good moves this offseason, I'm very impressed with the Toffoli signing, I gotta say, uh, Jeff Cortnall, Rick Tockett, now the coach of the Arizona Coyotes, Arizona Coyotes, and Eddie Olchek, a commentator for NBC, I believe, battled cancer recently, survived cancer, so shout out to Eddie Olchek, he's a warrior for sure, and last pack is four cards, one guaranteed Hall of Famer in the pack, if it wants to let me open it, <laughs> these can be pretty brutal. The one thing I've noticed about Dollarama too, they changed their packaging. Their packaging is different. It used to be like a thicker, uh, a thicker, almost like card sleeve type pack that it came in. But now it's just like regular, like you get like candy in these type packs the way, to, the way it is. You can see the way it's sealed. It's like a candy pack almost. It's a bit different. Okay, so we got four, four trading cards, one guaranteed superstar. Brendan Dillon. Patrick Flatley. Randy Wood, and this must be our superstar. Who could it be? Dave Vandertruck. Yeah, oh, no, Scott Niedemeyer. Scott Niedemeyer. Collector's Choice. That's actually a really nice-looking card right there. So not, not a bad little break. Spent, what, $8 total on the break? Or, no, I bought the dollar on the bag. So I spent, like, $12 total on the break. So let's go, go through some of the things I got. It's the things I'm going to keep, at least. We got Scott Niedemeyer, that cool Collector's Choice card I just pulled. Mark Bergevin, when he played with the Lightning, look at that shot of Bergevin. He, he, he still looks so young for his age these days. He, uh, people may hate him, but he's definitely one of the slickest, best-looking GMs in the league. Um, Nelson Emerson, prospect card, St. Louis Blues. Old-school 83 Opeachy, uh, Nordiques, Randy Muller. Alexander Shurabev, World Junior Tournament card. This amazing Panini Select Certified Edition Alexi Kovalev card from 1995-1996. Cool looking hollow on that. A uh, Panini Select of Gabriel Landeskog. Uh, Brandon Covery, St. John's Maple Leafs Prospect card from 1994. A Corey Schwab uh, Pinnacle card with the Lightning. A Capitals card of Mike Lute Bowman. Ron Hextall Champs cards. I, I keep the goalie cards for my binder. I'm a big goalie guy. Uh, Evgeny Nabokov and Brad Stewart. Dual rookies, Omega 2000. Top prospect of Reggie Savage. Love that name, Reggie Savage. Braden Point, UD Canvas from this year, 1920. A 0607 Eric Westrom Shooting Stars insert from the AHL 2006 All-Star Classic uh, insert from be a player, or in the game, then we got a Sidney Crosby CHL grad card, 
and a Mark Antoine Poulet prospect card from the Hamilton Bulldogs. So there it is. There's a Dollarama bag, a couple of Dollarama bags. Oh, and we also got this mini snap holder on the Dollarama bag as well. A couple of Dollarama bags and a uh, bit of Upper Deck Series retail packs. Hope you guys enjoyed the break. If you can, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Stay safe wherever you're to. Stay tuned for more upcoming hockey videos, break videos. And if you guys have any ideas or things you'd like to see open on the channel, let me know. And also, I am accepting mail. Like, if anybody ever wants to send me any, like, letters about the channel or cards or anything like that, they can uh, e Gmail. They can message me on Gmail. I'll give you my email address because I've had a few people message me recently asking, do I have a P.O. box that they can send mail to? I don't have a P.O. box, but if you're a subscriber and someone who I've talked to a bit and feel comfortable around, I will give you my address to send me a bit of mail. That I would really appreciate it as well. But anyways, guys... Have a great day. Stay safe wherever you're to. And a big shout out to a gaming ch uh, to a hockey card channel that always watches my videos. Beauty Breaks. Big shout out to you, man. I appreciate you guys always commenting on my videos. You're one of the most loyal watchers of my videos. I don't have a ton of followers on my hockey card videos. And the fact that I have at least one person that's always there to comment on every, every video makes it awesome. So big shout out to you guys. Love your channel as well. Check them out, guys. Beauty Breaks. Open us hits with Scotty 2 Hockey. Stay safe. Have a great day, folks, wherever you're to. Over and out.